You'd hope that Manchester United losing 3-2 to Brighton was the biggest problem that this club has got at the moment, but there's really no two ways about it. Manchester United are a complete mess at the moment. It is chaos absolutely everywhere. You see after the Brighton game, you see uh, Paul Hurst from the Times saying Mourinho has got the backing of the board. The dreaded vote of confidence is coming out after the second week of football, which is pure madness. Of course Mourinho's got his job. Ed Woodward has given him a new contract in January. So of course Mourinho is going absolutely nowhere. But you saw Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher talking on Monday Night Football about Manchester United and Jose Mourinho. Will he be there next season? Both summed up exactly how I feel. Manchester United made a decision to back Jose Mourinho by giving him a new contract in January. They followed that up in the next summer transfer window by not backing Jose Mourinho, by not letting him sign out of Ireland or Harry Maguire or any centre-back that he wanted to sign. Manchester United have taken away the backing that they gave only a few months earlier and completely undermined Jose Mourinho and his ability to manage his football club now leaves this football club in disarray. And it was already in slight disarray anyway because we, whole, we all know that the board and the manager, there's something going wrong there and has been something going wrong there for some time. But this morning, we've now seen Mr. Mino Raiola, everybody's favourite football agent, coming in and stirring the pot even more so. Goes on Twitter and just attacks Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes spoke after Manchester United's 3-2 defeat to Brighton saying that he, he doubted whether Paul Pogba was the right captain for Man United saying that fairly he was inconsistent. He is inconsistent. He was fantastic against Leicester. He was poor against Brighton but let's be honest so was every other player. And after that Mino Raiola came out and said Paul Scholes wouldn't know a leader if he was sitting next to Winston Churchill. Mino Raiola, shut the fuck up. Really please do. Paul Scholes, fantastic player for Man United, won like 11 titles, two Champions Leagues, played alongside Roy Keane, played under Fergie. I think he knows a good leader when he sees one. And he's right, because Manchester United do not have a leader. Paul Scholes, over the last few years, I'll be honest, he's been a little bit too outspoken. Um, I've not agreed with everything he's saying, but he's not wrong in what he's saying about Paul Pogba. But Mina Royola is coming out now, and all he's doing is stirring the proverbial pot. He's just gone on Twitter to cause a shitstorm, cause chaos, and air Manchester United's dirty laundry in public. And our Man United look like an absolute shambles of a club. You see clubs like Bayern Munich and the likes who are run so well and so cleanly, and then you see Man United and what's going on at the moment. And it really doesn't look very good for us, does it? I don't really know what the situation is gonna be following this. I don't know the right way out of it. Because it's, it's humiliating to see, it's embarrassing to watch. I, I don't, I don't know what to say next because what's the reaction from this Minoraola situation? Do Manchester United come out and attack Minoraola, who is the agent of one of their most important players? Absolutely not. Does Paul Pogba come out and attack his agent? Absolutely not, because he earned him the move to Manchester United. He earned himself a hell of a lot of money, and he earned Paul Pogba a lot of money. Does Mourinho come out and slam Minoraola? No, he doesn't. So Man United are just going to have to sit there and fester, and fester on all of this because for me the situation is just getting worse and worse and worse and I don't know what, I really don't know what to say anymore because the football's not right. Mourinho is manager at the moment but things just aren't looking good and you don't need Minoraola stirring up the fucking pot which is exactly what it's all he's doing. That is the only reason he's doing that. He's not doing that to try and help Paul Pogba in any way, shape or form. He's just doing that to help himself. And you see, Mike, even Mike Phelan, former Manchester United assistant manager Mike Phelan came out and he attacked Minoraiola and his intentions, saying, look, players used to be assessed for a transfer on their ability, not on Minoraiola and their agents stirring up the pot and causing chaos in the press. I just don't know what to say anymore because I've been out of the loop for a couple of weeks as you all know because I've been on getting married and having a honeymoon. I've come back and it was after that Leicester game, you know, there was positive feelings all round. Really, there was positive feelings. Manchester United beating Leicester, Paul Pobble looked excellent, Luke Shaw scored his first goal. Then one week later, we go and lose to Brighton. Yeah, these results happen. I'm, we go and lose to Brighton, it doesn't matter. 
we'll go, we'll hopefully we'll beat Spurs and we'll put that to bed. But now, within that one week, we've gone from being positive against Leicester to the whole world is blowing up in front of our faces. One week later, after one loss, is Mourinho going to be manager next season? What's going on with Paul Pogba? What's going on with Ed Woodward and the club? The club have embarrassed themselves, as far as I'm concerned, by not backing Jose Mourinho the whole way. You know, if you are going to keep him and you are going to give him a new contract, you can't then decide a few months later, you know what? I'm not going to give him any money in the transfer window. I'm going to let him do what he wants with the current squad. There's no point. Exactly. Gary Neville summed it up perfectly as well. If you're going to build a house, build the house. Don't half build it and then go, you know what? Change of mind. I'm not going to build it anymore. Because that's what Manchester United are right now. We're a club in complete limbo. The reason Jose Mourinho was brought in was the correct reason. We had one year of David Moyes, it was an absolute shambles. We finished seventh. We brought in Louis van Gaal, and then he had that exciting World Cup, you know, beating Spain, what was it, 5 1, finishing third. Things were looking positive. Louis van Gaal came in, and the positivity went quite quickly. Two years of lacklustre, slow, boring, turgid football forced Man United into a situation. They went and got the serial winner in football. That's Jose Mourinho. They brought him into the club first year. What happens? We win two titles. We won the Europa League and I think we won the League Cup. That's what happened in Mourinho's first year. Second year, he came second to an Anomaly City team who broke all the records. Anybody would have come second to that. Then in his third season, you think, right, okay, this is the time where he should be doing it. Instead, Manchester United are now, we're now here with the manager that we're not sure whether the club wants anymore, with our captain whose agent is playing up to the press, with a board that's disconnected from the manager, with a fan base that's now semi-disconnected from the manager. Manchester United really are plunging into chaos two weeks into a Premier League season. I don't know what to think anymore, but I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Um, it's a shitstorm, isn't it?